Hi everyone, Frank Starling here. Today I wanted to talk about Cobb's green LED alarm clock. Uh, I got mine in the black wood trim style. and uh, I think this thing is wicked cool. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, flipping it over to the back, uh, we have three buttons that change the different functionalities of this alarm clock. And it also features a DC power source, which I have it plugged into now. So it's a DC to USB, and it comes with a USB to AC converter. Um, and then there's also uh, a battery modality that can function the alarm clock with four AAA batteries. So spinning this guy around, um, I think the first thing that I noticed about this clock uh, was definitely the flush blank face of the alarm clock. I thought it was really unique and that's what really attracted me to, to get this alarm clock. Um, and then by far the most notable thing was the clapper. So just clapping your hands displays the alarm clock and being a child of the 90s seeing the clapper always on TV it's great that they incorporated this feature into this alarm clock so I was really happy to see that. Um, first impressions of it were that it were was pretty small uh, which is actually a great thing for me because I didn't want a clock to take up a lot of room on my desk and uh, this thing definitely has a small form factor so I was happy to see that as well. Um, walking through the alarm clock uh, it's pretty easy to change some of the features um, that this alarm clock's capable of uh, displaying and so I'm going to walk you through that and verbally tell you what buttons I'm pressing back here, whether it be set, up, or down. So uh, we have our clock in military time, and if we press and hold the set button for three seconds, it's going to allow us to change from 24 hour, now I'm pressing the down button, to 12 hours. Or if I press the down button again, we can jump up to 24 hour. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to press the down button again, and set it to 12 hour mode. Then I'm going to press the set button again and it's going to allow me to change the hour I'm pressing the up button or uh, the down button to change the hour and then if I press the set button again we go over to the minutes and you can do the same thing adjust that and then press the set button again and it displays the alarm and pressing the down button yields the on uh, display and the down button again would yield the off display. If you choose to set up your alarm, you can, uh, you're can. you then going to be prompted for the time after the first alarm. And so we're going to press the set button again, and it's going to prop the time for us. Um, so we turn the alarm off so it doesn't matter, but here's where you could you know, adjust the up and down button to set the alarm that you want. And that little dot in the corner, uh, that indicates PM on the clock. So I'm just going to press set and set again to go through the first alarm and then set to say that we don't want a second alarm. Set, set, and then for just the sake of argument I'm going to turn the third alarm on, press set, and I'll set it to 1254 in the after, in the morning, <laughs> sure. So set, set. And then SD is the feature of sound, so whether you want that clapper to be on or off. So as much as it kills me, I'm going to turn the clapper off and press set. And now we're going to have a steady display of time and temperature um, that won't ever dim. So I think this uh, feature or this display pattern is more geared towards AC power where you're constantly, um, you know, you constantly have a power source hooked up and you're not worried about the energy consumption. I think the sound activation on is more for the battery functionality of this clock where you're worried about the power consumption of the LED lights and you'd like it to dim after about 10 seconds. Um, so there's a shortcut to change the, um, both the temperature display, whether it's in Celsius or Fahrenheit, and the clapper on and off. And that is by pressing the up button, you're prompted with the um, Fahrenheit temperature. So if I press up, up, I can change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And um, then if I press the down button, it's gonna prompt me for the sound. So if I press down, it will 
uh, turn off the sound, and if I press down again, it will turn it on, and that's the way I prefer. So all in all, I think this is a great little alarm clock. I'm happy that it's packaged into such a form factor and incorporates the technology of the clapper in it uh, because that, that really um, made this clock unique for me. Uh, I think the flush wood um, style is awesome. Uh, a lot of times when my friends see this, they don't realize that it's a clock, and I think that's a really cool feature about this. Um, I would say if I had to critique uh, the clock, I would say that the um, power cord could probably be longer. Right now, it's pretty small. I'd say it's about two feet in length. Um, which isn't a really big deal for me because I have a power outlet right next to my desk. Um, but I could see that being problematic in different setups. Um, so that would be my one critique of this clock. But overall, I think this is a great product. I'm happy to have this clock. I think it's a really unique um, piece and it, it's definitely a conversation piece when people come into my room and I'm happy to have it. So thanks for watching. This is Frank Starling. Take care and have a good day.